world it's courtney again with another movie review i'm sporting the obscure pastry and this is all live since my editing equipment decided to poop out on me so here we go see how it turns out i'll be re reviewing the last airbender by m night Shyamalan. um let me first start off with saying okay everybody told me this was going to be one of the worst movies somebody said on rotten tomatoes it got like eight percent it was so bad but I loved the TV series of Nickelodeon, so my brother and I still decided to spend the money and go see it. Fortunately, we went during the day where it's cheaper, but we saw it in 3D, which we thought was going to be really awesome. Guess what? It's not. It, 2D would have been just fine. It wasn't terrible. Like, ugh, whatever. So, we saw it. Um, M. Night Shyamalan's good director. It was pretty good cinematography, I'm not going to lie. It just... It was so much drama. Like... You want a little bit of comic relief, especially in the TV show, there's some, like, slapstick comedy moments, and maybe they're funny for little kids, but we didn't really find it. There was nobody in little kids in the theater that were laughing. Like, they didn't think it was that funny. So, I don't know. So it stars um, this newcomer, Noah Ringer, I think his name is. He's from Texas, and he plays Ang, or I'm sorry, Ong, as they said in the m What? Ong? Yeah, yeah, that was another thing, too. In the TV series, it was Aang, the Avatar. Sorry if my Michigan accent offends some people, but in the theaters, it was Aang, the Avatar. This isn't London. Maybe maybe that's what it was. Because isn't M. Night Shyamalan British? Maybe he's not. I don't know. I don't like the Oz. I, I was... The harsher A is what the actual name was. It's so, Aang, Aang, the Avatar. Who's Aang? But my brother didn't know. I told him. I'm like, oh, it's Aang. Like, Aang the Avatar. Like, in the TV series. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, Noah Ringer from um, Texas is playing him. And he used to do karate and stuff. So he's got all these sweet airbending moves. Cool. Good to go. Um, the girl is a newcomer, too. Katara. I don't know her the actress's name. She was okay. That's why I don't know her name. And uh, Jackson Rathbone plays Soka, the older brother. And... He's just really adorable and cute, and I've loved him ever since Movie Surfer, so I was totally okay with that. And um, the, well, the, one of the main reasons, though, I wanted to see it was Dev Patel plays the Fire Nation son, whatever guy, um, who has like, the flame on his face in the TV series. I love Dev Patel ever since Slumdog Millionaire, so I was totally excited to see it. And Dev Patel did good. It was just, it was so dramatic. I don't think a lot of kids would like it. Because there wasn't that much comedy in it. There was just all drama, drama, drama. They tried to make a couple things funny. Like the, um, up, uppa, uppa. The big thing that Aang flies on. This woolly mammoth thing. Like, dropped his tail on Soka. And Soka's like, ah, it's trying to eat me. And that was just like, huh, that's funny. Kind of, not really. I feel uncomfortable, so I'm laughing. Kind of a thing. But, yeah, that was about it. And... The effects were really cool, you know, they just did little, and it did, like, air bending, water bending things, and there was some fire stuff, and it was really, that was cool, but it was okay. They left it open for a sequel, which I don't think is going to happen, because it hasn't been doing so well in the box office. So, verdict, Gordy's verdict for The Last Airbender, not to be confused with James Cameron's Avatar, I, he stole the name, I, he stole the name completely. Avatar. This one deserved to have that name, but whatever. The Last Airbender by M. Night Shyamalan. Not life-changing. I would recommend, if you would like to see it, definitely rent it. It's not that good. And if you like to see it in theaters, don't see the 3D, because there's really no point. Sorry.